In London, England, we are captured on film every 30 seconds. The authorities do it, supermarkets and high street shops do it, the railway and underground network does it. In Britain, surveillance vans check we are not watching BBC One without a licence. The police watch the roads, checking for speeders, congestion, getaway drivers. Some newspapers listen to people by intercepting voicemail. And the Home Office encourages us to help them by being on the lookout for benefit cheats and tax evaders and terrorists. In a very big brother Orwellian sense, we could be justified in fearing that it's them that is watching us. But a very different story is emerging. We are watching them, and it's beautiful. Although Google Earth is the king of surveillance, we are using it to tell us the colour of Mrs Smith's underwear hanging on her line, the size of a French swimming pool, the quickest route up a mountain. We tune into webcams pointed at government buildings. We film police abusing people on our mobile phones, sometimes resulting in prosecutions. We tweet when we see a celebrity with someone who is not their wife. We photograph the bullet as it enters the peaceful protester. Not because we set out on a secret mission to do so, but because we are all inadvertent operatives, accidental witnesses, we are watching Big Brother, and we have the added ability to share our intelligence with others. Watch more. Overt Surveillance was started by myself, Caroline Jane and Janice Wilkins. We are both British artists who combine our interest in civil liberties and new technologies with the old art school instruction to do more looking. We thought it best to get out in the real world and conduct some very unsecretive observations. The aim of overt surveillance is to celebrate the art of watching, but also to understand where it can be harnessed for the greater good. Operations. The operations or performances began in the summer of 2011. Notifications of who, when and where are openly, transparently posted on our website at www.overtsurveillance.org. During the surveillance mission, random notes and sketches are made and are posted on the website, but otherwise overt surveillance missions are unrecorded in any format. But as when any artist brings out an easel, there may be people who choose to watch us at work. Some take photographs and they are very welcome. This is all about the art of watching. As well as carrying out operations, we are seeking funding for a high-profile overt surveillance vehicle. If realised, the vehicle will be toured around schools, parks, festivals and galleries of Britain where members of the public can climb inside our vehicle and discover the art of watching for themselves. They can become operatives and with our help. It will be better than watching reality TV. You can find out more about how to become an operative how to provide money for our uh, van plan for our overt surveillance vehicle or invite us to your place of work, your school or your organisation where we will watch you. Visit www.overtsurveillance.org.